What's up YouTube? Today I am going to show you how to change the spark plugs on uh, Hyundai i45 2011. Now spark plugs in majority of vehicles um, is kind of same when you're gonna change them but uh, parts they could be different. Now um, Hyundai is very particular about it uh, there are only uh, two models that I can buy one is from Hyundai itself which are the genuine ones and the other ones are from Champion now these are pretty good spark plugs um, they made in USA it did cost me about $30 each um, Hyundai was about $65 each um, but they will do the job for now um, now spark plugs are a very crucial part of, the, of your car um, if your spark plugs are busted or not working properly, you can have um, a majority of um, of wrong going to the car. First could be misfiring, second uh, your uh, economy will uh, drop dram dramatically. So let's say if you're getting 100Ks out of uh, 100 litres, it might go to 90Ks or maybe 80Ks uh, per 100 litre. Well, sorry 10, 10 liters uh, the other thing is um, uh, power the car would not be as responsive as it's supposed to be so as soon as you hit the pedals you will see um, you, you you will feel it like like it's not responding responding to you right away as, uh, as such um, the second thing I would say is the um, uh, air filter air filter you, the car engines and humans are pretty much similar how how we breathe oxygen in um the same thing happened with the car car breathes in and um, burn the fuel and then so you get the power and so on and so forth but, uh, but let's say if um, your, your air filter is busted so it's just full of dirt and car can't breathe so in that case this will also affect on your on, on the economy of the car so you you might want to change that too um along with the spark plug plugs um i, I changed it uh, two weeks ago so we won't be doing that but if you need me to show you how to do that, you can uh, just leave me a comment. I'm more than happy to do another video for you. Now we will uh, park the car to the workshop and uh, I'll show you the tools, what are we need, what are the tools we're going to be using. And then we'll take it from there. Ciao. Alright, so change this, to change the spark plugs, the tools we're going to need are, it is ideal to have all uh, a socket kit if you got one handy. Um, uh, obviously one of those and screwdriver and this I just got out of my car so um, I'm gonna be needing that because my um, uh, socket to open the spark plug is not long enough you need something long so I'll, I'll be using this as part of the extension um, so let's get right into it so on your car right here you do need to take this cover off which is basically just click open so you pull it out from here, pull one out from there, a bit from there. Okay, oh, put a thick insulation on that. Okay, second thing you want to do is you would want to clean this area because uh, these are your four coils, and right underneath that's where the spark plug sits. So you would want to clean this area. Um, you can clean it with a piece of cloth or you can have a piece of pipe one end goes to your mouth and the other end goes right there and you just push it out so you just breathe it out I'll be using an air compressor because I got one handy here let's do it with the help of 10 uh, millimeter socket you would want to open them up I got already plugged in yeah. they do go anti-clockwise so once you open a bit of that it's just pretty easy to open you're gonna do same for all four the nuts are out we just gotta simply pull them out now you gotta be really really careful while you're filling it out because see these tiny wires if you happen to crack any of those it's gonna be a major issue so you gotta be very careful so simply just pull, pull it and just move it Open them out. Keep them to the side. Pull it. Twist. Open it out. Pull it to the side. Same thing now. Side. 
easily. Pull it out on the side. Once the coils are out, uh, you do need to take the spark plugs out. So I'm gonna do the same process again. I'll quickly just uh, air it out, see if there is any dirt in them, just in case. Because you wouldn't want to put any bad dirt in the engine. Nice and easy, pretty noisy. Now, as I said earlier, I don't have a long socket, so I'll be using my extension and some other things. But I'll just chuck it in there. Let me put the socket in there. And you just want to twist them open. Obviously, the bath process happens anti clockwise, and once you're done with them, you go clockwise to tighten them up. I'll quickly uh, take them all out and then I'll get back to you. Taking them out one by one, and this is the last one. It should come right along with it. Okay. Oops. Does not look good. See, these are definitely busted. Look at them. And the tip is gone. With, with all of them. They are definitely busted. No wonder my car is doing a really poor economy right now. I only get about 400 out of a tank at the moment, which is 70 litres. For a four cylinder car, it's a lot. So, um, we just gotta put the new ones in now. Okay, these are the new spark plugs. And this is the old one. You can see the difference. How this one is busted poorly. And that's brand new. Now we're quickly gonna slide each of those in the in the shells. And uh, we just gotta tie them up. Okay, put each one in there. Chuck it in there. Chuck it in there. Once you do that. You simply just gotta tie them up. Put them all in there and start twisting. I'll quickly do them all. Once the new ones are in and tightened up, you might want to clean your coils. These are the coils again. Now you can just clean them with a dry uh, cloth. I'm just gonna uh, hose them out. <laughs> And you just need to put them back now. Okay, now this goes back in there, and they will automatically uh, go and make a grip on the on the spark plug. So don't push them very much. You just need to push them in here, a satisfying click, and that's it. The coils are back on. Tighten them up, and we're done. Just gotta put the cover off on top of it. Actually, I might as well clean this area a little bit. All packed up and done. Now to confirm everything went fine, we just gotta start the car once quickly. No warnings. Sounds good. Any questions? Leave them in the comment box. I'll try to get back here as soon as possible. Thank you. Stay safe.